Hello friends, in this video let us see the Israel's water management and let us also see what India can learn from Israel in water management. So recently our Prime Minister Narendra Modi made a historic visit to Israel and it is termed as historic visit because Narendra Modi is the first Prime Minister to visit Israel from India. So the Israel has suffered from consecutive four years of droughts. So the Israel have suffered from consecutive four years of drought but it devised a master plan to reduce the water scarcity so let us know what israel's water law tells about the water management so the israel's water law says that all water available in the country is common property source so it is a common property source but not a free good and uh, the Israel government does accounting on every drop of water ensuring good governance. So that means water governance is well followed in Israel ensuring accountability on every drop of water. So as a result of such good governance in 2013 as per the reports of 2013, so of the total water available in Israel, the 16% of the total available water in Israel came from desalinating desalination techniques that is from either Dead Sea or Lake Kinneret in Israel and the 22% of water came from recycling the wastewater recycling the wastewater and uh, of the total water which is so generally the water which is used for irrigation in Israel the 62% of the water which is used for irrigation in Israel came from recycled brackish water so it came from recycled brackish water so the israel is able to reduce the water scarcity by desalination techniques by recycling and by using this recycled brackish water that is the 62 percent of irrigation water in israel comes from this recycled brackish water so hence the india definitely india has to learn from Israel, what are the water management techniques to reduce the water scarcity in India also? So the first thing India, le India should learn from Israel is, so it, it should use, it should make use of innovative, innovative technology or innovative ideas rather than moving for the conventional tra traditional methods. So the innovative ideas will include the recycling of water recycling of water from the urban waste water so the in, it has to go for the innovative ideas rather than the traditional and conventional means of saving water so it should go for the recycling of urban waste water and the second thing is the second thing india should learn from israel is the most critical lesson is water efficient water governance so the efficient water governance is the most critical lesson India has to take from Israel such as water reforms and water pricing is what India has to be addressed because it is a fundamental and controversial issue in India to be addressed and the third thing is desalination techniques so the India has to India has to learn this desalination of sea water so it has to adopt this technique on a wider scale it has to adopt this technique on a wider scale and more effectively to augment it or to increase its increase its water supply and the fourth thing is cleaning polluted water cleaning polluted water so India has to learn from Israel in cleaning polluted water and timely implementation or effective implementation of Namami Ganga and other polluted rivers. So for cleaning the polluted water we can learn from Israel and we can implement the projects like Namami Ganga and cleaning of other polluted rivers effectively. So as per the Israel cooperation is needed very much in cleaning polluted water because as per the reports government reports between 2009 and 2015 the polluted river water 
and the river stretches has been almost double so almost double in between this 2009 and 2015 so 2009 and 2015 because almost 63 percent of the wastewater generated in India is released into water bodies without treatment and thereby resulting in acute river pollution. So almost 63% of the water which is not treated is sent into the river bodies and thereby resulting in the acute river pollution. So thereby we can say that the India needs the Israel's cooperation and partnership in cleaning this polluted water. So recently the Delhi government initiated or roped in a Israel firm to clean an 8 kilometer Yamuna stretch. So it is a very good initiative taken by the Delhi government to rope in an Israel firm to clean an 8 kilometer Yamuna stretch. Now the fifth thing is water usage. So to use water efficiently to effectively and timely implementation of Pradhan Mantri Krisi Sinchai Yojana which signifies more crop per drop. So this scheme signifies more crop per drop and in this context let us talk about the micro irrigation in India. So the micro irrigation is not a new concept to India and this micro irrigation includes the drip irrigation and the water sprinkling system or the sprinklers. So already India has 9 million hectares under this micro irrigation and this has to be scaled up several times. So now scaling up this technology needs right policy environment and India can learn in this regard of scaling up this technology several times under this micro irrigation. So the recycling endeavors with proper water treatment which can make the wastewater safe can be used for this micro irrigation so which can save the water to a lot of quantity. And the sixth thing what India can learn from Israel is political will. So the sixth thing what India can learn from Israel is political will is what India needs to learn to solve its water scarcity and the India has to implement its all water schemes, water policies, water reforms and pricing of water effectively because water is not a free good and the pricing of water reflects its scarcity. So all the reforms and measures should be implemented effectively and tough decisions have to be taken over saving the water or conserving the water in India and this is all what India can learn from Israel in water management techniques. So I hope you understood well. Please subscribe to the channel.